Oh God, oh my God. There's like rusty puke. I'm looking, there's no other word for that. That is, that's rusty puke. Hey everybody, we got a phone we're gonna fix today. A phone that is dead because of puke. That's right, barf, throw up, contents of intestines inside this phone. At least that's what the note will have us to believe. Here's the note where we got Chris sending in the phone and he's telling us a long story of all this troubleshooting great work that he's done here. And with the highlights is that he noticed that his daughter had gotten sick on the phone. No, not sick like COVID sick, sick like Miller Lite sick, right? Gotten sick, meaning threw up on the phone. He had no idea there was anything inside, tried to fix it. And he opened up the phone and noticed throw up inside the phone at the bottom. All right, well, let's see if this phone is actually dead due to barf or not. Let's go ahead and open it up ourselves and see what's inside. All right, let's dive in. Let's see, can Jessa open a phone up that is at arm's length away from her without having to wear lame glasses? It's gonna be a challenge. All right, here we are. This is one time where wearing masks really is got the hidden benefit. I have noticed as a professional opener of puke-damaged puke phones that when a phone is filled with puke that a lot of times that doesn't really become obvious until you attempt to heat it up in some way. Then, then you'll really know. You can tell right away whether a phone was, oh, that screen came up really easily. Oh, look at that. Mr. Chris has helpfully left the battery disconnected and well, I see some gross looking stuff, but that looks just like cleaning marks. Maybe there's nothing wrong here, but if we have to heat up this phone, then we will definitely know what is the mystery substance. A lot of times you can tell if a phone has been you know, in a lady's purse and it will smell like beautiful perfume. And then there are other phones. Other phones tell if people have had, have pets, know how I know. All right, we're gonna take the screen off and then we'll take a look under the microscope. All right, screen's off. Now let's head under the microscope just while the board is still in the frame and see what we can see. Okay, oh, yee. All right, now this pukey looking stuff is actually not puke. Looks like it, but that is the expensive, beautiful glue that you pay Apple for whenever you buy an iPhone, all right? oh. That, that's, did you got, today I learned puke apparently can rust. Look at that, puke, oh God, oh my God. There's like rusty puke. I'm looking, there's no other word for that. That is, that's rusty puke. I mean, isn't it? Uh, is that a carrot? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know. I would, you're gonna have to come taste it, please. Can you smell it? I'm not gonna, Brad. All right, I'm gonna smell it. Should I? Yeah. Oh God, all right. It smells like moldy, mold more than anything else. I'm not real sure. That, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to, I, that may, might not necessarily be puke. I don't know, it looks like puke. I can't really tell. But definitely there's some stuff down here. I mean, what else could it be though? Like it's you know, what's the alternative? Let's go ahead and take the board out and then we will heat this up just so that we can identify what this stuff is and we will see who else wants to smell this delicious substance and identify it for the sake of science. Alrighty, so I've taken out all the screws and we're going to take the board out now and let the dried puke fly. I really wanna see what the screen looked like before. Like what kind of screen has a hole in it that lets you puke on the inside of your phone? That's pretty crazy. All right, let's look at this under the microscope. All right, so in the bottom housing of the, of the phone, not much going on. A little bit of, just enough puke to turn that sticker pink. And yeah, it looks pretty normal. Now here's the question. Dare we heat this up to see what it actually is? I think that in the name of science, we kind of have to do that. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna just warm it up. Just warm it up a little bit, see? Yeah, it smells like puke. Oh! 
All right, that was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. I can't believe you made me do that. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. All right. I really wish I hadn't done that. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right, now let's fix this thing. Ah! All right, maybe the board is fine. Let's find out. Normal, 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 normal. And then down here at the bottom, puke damage on the motherboard. This is why we don't drink alcohol to the point of excess. We stop and don't puke on our phones. All right, let's just brush the puke away. And now let's use the multimeter to see if we have a short circuit. The iPad Rehab Trust-based multimeter says, ding, 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 that is a short circuit. That capacitor, I'm pretty sure, is on the main power rail. Let's check and see if it is. All right, let's spin this board around and match it up to ZXW. There we go. And we can see that on ZXW, we have bing, 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 bing. That same exact capacitor that's got a short circuit is making the main power rail touching ground. Solution, we need to delete that guy and replace it with another one. All right, so we will go ahead and delete those two ugly looking capacitors off. One of them technically hasn't failed yet, but if we're replacing one, let's do them both. That puke damage looks pretty severe. Oh my, that puke has kind of burned a hole in the board. Puke? has, wow, it was on fire right there for a second. That's very hot. That's a lot of puke. Yeah, they were drinking fireball. Well, let's see whether or not that has actually cleared the short circuit. That one is too far gone for us to replace, and since we don't technically need that capacitor, it's just there to kind of steady eddy the main voltage, then it's one of many. We are not going to attempt to put that back since the pad that it sits on has been burned off due to acid puke. wonder if it was acid. Stomach acid has destroyed the pad for this VCC main cap. Look at that. That's, that's a big hole. It's quite a crater. All right, let's go measure our main power rail someplace else, like this beautiful little square and see whether or not we still have a short circuit there. We do. That's bad. That means that we have puke has burned wires inside the board. That's really, really bad. So now we got to dig them apart. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. All right, let me clean out this area a little bit. Oh, look at that. The dark hidden side of puke. Look at that. We got puke all over these guys as well. Oh yeah. Good. The short is not down in here. Let's make this board great again. Let's return it back to the glorious day when it had never received a vomit bath. Look at that. You can see that this thing got so hot that it actually ejected that little solder ball. See that little solder ball? That is not good. Get off of my board. All right, now let's see. Do we still have a short on this board? Hopefully not. We got one more chance. Boo! It is still short. Now let's test to see if we still have a short to ground on the main power rail. We do not. Healed. Some kind of puke in the screen itself. Puke surrounding the screen, flexes in the backlight of the screen. That puke fried the backlight driver. But now we have solved that problem and left for us. It is time to rebuild. We're going to put a new backlight driver in there and we're going to make this phone great again. I'm going to grab a donor board because I don't know where any backlight drivers are off the top of my head.
ready for reballing. So we're going to grab our stencil. Available at store.ipadrehab.com is our new stencils for the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro that just came in after we've been waiting for months to get stencils like that. But for this one, I'm going to use just a regular old 3D stencil. Any one that kind of, kind of sort of fits. Any one that is a close enough match. All right, that'll be fine. Clean it off, and I gotta make some paste. Beautiful looking new backlight driver, ready to go on the board. Now, let's just try to put it back on the puke board and not on the wrong board. Beautiful. Now let's make sure that short didn't come right on back. Main power rail is looking good. It's time to test. All right, so we're gonna give it a loose reassembly, just clipping it into its own housing. Clip in the screen, battery. We no longer have a main short. We've got a hot, fresh, new backlight driver. Boot up! Let's see, plug it in. There we go. Yay! I see an Apple logo, yay! Yay, one puke has been defeated. It's going to boot up. I think it's going to boot up. It's going to rise up and show us that this phone can be great again. Rise up, rise up. You can do it. All right, here we go. And, and it has touched. And there we go. This puke phone lives to see another day. And pro tip, if you do get a crack in your screen, go get it fixed just in case you might get sick and destroy your phone and end up like this. All right, and that is all we have to say about this one. And I will see you on the next stream. Oh God, oh my God. There's like rusty puke. I'm looking, there's no other word for that. That is, that's rusty puke.